global warming has passed from being a theory to a reality that threatens humanity and its imminent detrimental effects are observed all around the world. In general, there are two ways to minimize it and eventually stop it. Number one, reducing the consumption of fossil fuels. Number two, decreasing the high heat indicator, which is currently at a rate of 400 ppm to at least 350 ppm. The main goal is to avoid the risk of approaching the level of 500 ppm, which scientists consider a devastating point of no return. Marine science has shown that HNLC zones are tracts of water in the subarctic North Pacific, the equatorial Pacific, and the Antarctic Ocean that contain very little phytoplankton. The geoengineering current has proposed a number of alternatives. Among many, the most effective consists of the ocean fertilization with iron. This is a natural way where the oceans perform the sequestration of CO2 from the atmosphere. Our proposal includes the method and artifact which based on its design can achieve the oceanic iron fertilization in a controlled and safe manner. It is a copper box with walls that allow continuous water flow. It is equipped with buoys, GPS, antennas, warning lights that use self-generated energy which is fed by solar panels. Moreover, the operating costs are low and the maintenance of the devices can be extended to every two years. This device is anchored in an HNLC area adjacent to a marine current, which helps to transport and distribute the nutrients such as nitrogen, phosphorus, silica, etc., continuously and generating on its way phytoplankton blooms. With the use of current technology, the device can be monitored by satellite to track the production of phytoplankton in the ocean. Additionally, the device production can be managed since it can be stopped at any time by removing the device from the seawater. Ocean fertilization is a technique designed to increase the uptake of CO2 from the air by phytoplankton. The premise is that the phytoplankton, after blooming, would die and sink to the ocean floor, taking with them the CO2 that they had photosynthesized into new tissues. 13 ocean fertilization experiments with iron are documented, and they obtained the foreseen results, but only initially. During the experiments, the results soon after declined and became unstable, and besides, they used toxic chemicals such as sulfuric acid or hydrochloric acid, which are detrimental to the environment. Our device will trigger the restoration of nutrients in a continuous way as well as the production of phytoplankton. Within the projected results, we calculate that our device will reach a daily production capacity of 33 kg in situ of ferrous iron oxide with the potential of increasing the production of phytoplankton up to 12,540 tons and producing a CO2 sequestration at the same rate, Redfield ratio. Additionally, the increased generation of oxygen will increment with the production of dimethyl sulfide, which increases the production of clouds and therefore increases the albedo.